what is up everyone this is here and here welcome back again to tech current youtube channel and our 12 base descender to us is officially rolled out for the supported devices and maybe if your device has unofficial support you can give it a try this is one of the best and one of the unique customs out there for almost all the devices which these supported this is based on android 12 which we are talking about descendant os the latest version android 12 based has some cool and interesting features some ui changes i think so you should give it a try and which are those changes which i just want to let you know make sure to watch this video till then i'm going to show you my experiences and some great things some great features which you should try out in the latest descendant os custom room on your device okay first of all take a look at the quick settings panel of course it looking it's looking almost same like the other android 12 based custom rooms but if you're able to see the edit icon the settings icons are at now top including that if you're able to see data dashboard is also there and you can see other things are kind of same the animations are kind of same by the way these are not changed these are not changed and there are no major changes available there but if you're able to see the weather at the top of the clock and you can see the data dashboard wi-fi usage same usage etc etc available there and you can edit these things if you want to options are kind of same the features are kind of same but ui has some changes and descendant os always has better and unique ui instead of providing you some insane number of features like crr reduction remix and sent os those custom rooms have better customizations but descendant os have better stability i'm not sure about stability of course depends upon device specific things but as it has a better ui a very very interesting ui kind of unique ui for your device i think it's a very good choice for you and this is why you should try out this build on your device this is also one of the new things which i just got in the descendant os latest android 12 based custom room it was not available in any android 11 based custom room so far if i'm not wrong it was not there even though in all android 12 based custom room it was not there this is what we have the covid 19 data is available which is of course kind of useful or not useful if you are if you want to check it out you can i don't have internet connection right now so that's why it will not be able to show me any kind of data right now if you're able to see we have a digital comfort options available where if you enable the sleep notification option it will enable the notification with tips when phone interferes with your sleep which means wake clocks basically and second one is screen on notifications that will warn you when your display is continuously on for an hour that's also quite useful you can customize the name if you want to and you have the option of stats like for example how much time you are interacting with your device and how many times you have unlocked your device which means lock unlock lock unlock this is quite good the idle time is also there that's good that's quite useful and i didn't got this option in any other custom room so far the send it us is here you also have some gestures available for you gestures which means you have a shush call on pickup which means upon pickup gesture call will be silenced of course whenever you pick your device the call will automatically be silenced and this is a very very great feature including that answer call option which means if you pick your phone near your ear it will automatically answer your call which means it will pick up automatically another one is shush call on flip which means if you flip your phone upside down it will just it will just mute the call maybe will slash the call reject call all the useful features all the useful options everything is present in this gestures magic option that looks better and as i previously mentioned you these are some unique things which you get in descendant os only and you don't get these options in other custom rooms so far at least while making this video these options are not available in any other custom room especially even android version 12 not available at all now we have some media related gestures available for you for example media halting if any media is playing and you lower your music volume to zero media flux will be halted which means if you are playing music and you want to if you go and mute your volume to zero the music will automatically be stopped and this is the feature which is available in other custom homes of course and by the way i'm not talking about exactly these features the features are already available there but maybe some features add some ui changes of course there for example these are available in this ui which is not in the other ones 
Moving on to some display changes or some UI changes in display settings if you are able to see in quick settings panel. As I previously shown at the start of the video there was a data dashboard available, Wi-Fi, mobile data etc. You can enable or disable that option that is available in display settings you can see. Including that we also have the only notification option which is in my opinion I like this a lot. If you are able to see what with one swipe you will be able to see only notification and with the second swipe you will be able to see the quick settings panel. This is in my opinion is one of the best and most customizable option out there most the perfect option out there so battery estimates and you can see the compact quick setting styles these are some cool interesting ui changes available for you as you previously mentioned these are some customizations kind of things or basically you can see the ui changes these are not a feature packed custom rooms like c android and reduction mx where it has a lot of features to customize the tiles and a lot more things but of course a lot of custom rooms based on android 12 are coming right now you can also customize other things for example the ui of course has some changes whenever you enter any kind of option you will see some new changes available there and this was one of the best things where you have some first of for one swipe we have notification panel and second swipe we have the quick settings panel that looks good but if you don't want that you can disable it this is good that you have the option to enable or disable this option this is not by default or this is not like one thing there are some customizations in quick settings panel and i think so it's a good thing to do other things are kind of same and if you want to give it a try you can you can see the monet personalization of course it was expected that if you don't need the wallpaper based theming you can disable this too we have other options available for you if you don't need the wallpaper based theming for example you need to what you need to do is let me reset these things and let me just apply the custom color now if i apply the custom color if you're able to see the colors are now the display colors and everything is changed because we are using the custom color not the wallpaper based theming and this is of course quite useful in android version 12 right now Okay, let me show you some other changes, other UI changes which you get into standard OS. For example, if you move on to the any option in the set settings, if you're able to see, you can see new UI changes. By the way, in my device, I'm also using always on display. You can see the first four options are always in kind of in or in, in table or in other options or maybe organized properly. This looks better, something unique kind of options available here for you. If you enter any option, for example, now sound and vibration, now we have first two options available like that if you move on to the other options like apps now here we don't have of course by the way but game settings of course available which means gaming dashboard is available here for you if you are a gamer and you want to use this gaming dashboard you can these options are good and quite good enough to use on a device and if you are looking for a unique custom room on a device by the way including that this is one of my favorite ones out there which i just forgotten and finally i just got to know that it is just absolutely great if you're able to see the con this is the volume panel what we have and yes a very very unique ui this is a volume panel which i didn't saw yet in any other custom room so far and this is available in the ascendant os looks damn cool and yes uh, let me just disable this option link ring and volume notification volume and now if you're able to customize these things if you're able to see now ring notification everything is working perfectly fine this looks better this looks unique very interesting things these were things i just want to let you know if you want to install this build you can link is in the description for all the official supported devices for unofficial builds check out xda check out telegram this is all thanks for watching i will see you next video goodbye Like I'm floating through the air